Hello everybody and welcome to my 10th Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the gradient tool. Now I'm not just going to show you the basics of the gradient tool, I'm also going to show you how you can use it on your clipping masks uh, to do some pretty cool effects. So let's get started. In order to select our gradient tool, it's in the same area as the paint bucket uh, or G on the keyboard. So I'm going to select my gradient tool. Uh, we also want to down here select which colours we're going to use with our gradient. Uh, so I'm going to use a red and I'm also going to use a white as down here. Uh, and then up along here I have a choice of what type of gradient I want to do. So I can do the uh, kind of horizontal one where I draw a line and it's going to create me just a gradient going from, from the where I start to where I finish uh, and it's going to do me a gradient like this. So you just click and drag your line and it's going to give you a gradient fill based on where you've drawn that line. And it's quite intuitive so I'm not going to go into that too much. We then got our circle. So if we click on this and we click and drag it, it's going to do a gradient for you in a circle uh, using the colour that you've used as your foreground as the main one on there. Uh, and if you do it, say, at an edge, then it does quite a good effect because it, cause it has it coming out for, as a circle from the corner. We've got, then got this funky one, which kind of does pretty crazy things. So it does a, uh, a kind of, makes it look almost 3D, in, a, in essence, makes it look a bit like a cone. We've got this one that will give it, that will mirror what you do so it will go out from the side that you do it and then it will do the same in the opposite direction and then finally we've got the this one which kind of does more of a thing of light so this is quite good for creating kind of light sparkles and stars and things like that so those are your different types you can do change your blend modes as normal uh, and you can also change the opacity uh, for the moment, I'm just going to stick with my normal one here. Uh, and I want to show you how to, you can use this quite well in your clipping mask. So I'm just going to transfer across into this image here. And here I have a layer, which is just a motherboard. Uh, and then underneath, I just have a normal background red layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this top layer to multiply. Uh, and it's just going to mean that my top layer leaks through or, or with the colour of the bottom layer uh, and gives me this kind of colourful motherboard looking image. But what I actually want to do is I only want the motherboard showing at the top and I want it to kind of gradually fade away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a clipping mask by pressing my clipping mask option down here. Make sure I've got my clipping mask selected. I'm then going to click on my button to make sure that my black and white are my two colours selected. And I want to have black as my main one. I'm also going to make sure I'm on my basic gradient. What I'm going to do then is I'm just going to click and drag my line down from the top of my page. I'm going to press shift to make my line stay straight. And you see what this is doing is it's actually making uh, the clipping mask it's filling it in with the gradient and what this is doing is it's removing it but we're kind of gradually fading it into the image uh, and it's quite a powerful effect and you can see the different things we can do with it just by with this one gradient uh, we can fill it in with different like, things and it has it does some quite good effects and people use it a lot to create different lighting effects uh, and i use it a lot in kind of website designs to make them look a little bit less kind of blotchy and uh, things like that so I really enjoy this particular uh, effect. If we, there's quite a good one is to do it on circle as well and you click and drag like this it creates these blotches on your thing and if you do it in a corner then it has kind of faded light coming down from the corner. If you swap your colours around and do it from the middle and you'll have seen this effect quite a lot is kind of faded around all around the side. So that this is how you create that effect. 
And that's going to be it for the gradient tool. Uh, hopefully that will, that will make sense. Uh, and I've given you quite a powerful tool in terms of using gradients with your clipping masks. Uh, so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.